Uh, and to solve them, we're going to, um, I'll use the Fibonacci numbers as, a, as an example. Okay? Okay. Um, so, and I'll stick with my convention, which I don't, I don't know if this is the normal math convention or not, but I, with f of 0 equals 0 and f of 1 equals 1. I think it is, although maybe some people would start 1, 1. So we have this equation, fn plus 1, Fibonacci number n plus 1 equals the Fibonacci number n plus the Fibonacci number n minus 1. And, and it's not at all clear what we would do to solve something like this. But we did see at least that it got big very quickly. Yeah. And so one idea is to say, hey, what? maybe this looks like an exponential function. Maybe it looks like 2 to the x or 3 to the x or maybe 2 to the x plus 3 to the x. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to assume that. We're going to say, hey, well, what if this looks like, what if f n plus, n plus 1 equals a constant times some number, which I'll call a, to the x. Okay. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to assume this. What happens if we assume, like, this is equal to 5 times 2 to the x? Okay. So this constant never changes. Yeah. And then we'll try to figure out what this number is. Okay. Okay. Right. So, well, what would that mean? It means we would have a constant times a to the x plus 1 equals the same constant times a to the x. Sorry. I'm very careless in how I was writing. f of n is a constant times a to the n. Okay. That's sorry. Jeepers. Was that careless of me? Our nth Fibonacci number is a constant times a to the n. Okay, so that means the n plus 1 is going to be that constant times a to the n, n plus 1. Plus one. Uh, this one is going to be a constant times a to the n, and this, this is going to be a constant times a to the n minus 1. All right. Okay. okay. Now, what can I do with this equation? Well, on this side, you can factor out uh, c times a to the n minus 1. Okay, I guess what I'm going to need to do is go in a loop myself here. And hopefully I don't make any mistakes. So this side you're saying this is a constant times a to the n minus 1 times what? Times um, a from that term. There's one more a that goes in here. Yeah. And then plus 1. Okay, and what about on this side? Um, I can factor out the same thing. It's a times a squared. Okay. And what can I do now? Then we can divide out the c a to the n minus one. Yeah. So we're assuming uh, implicitly that these aren't the the constant and the the, um, the number itself are not zero. Yeah. yeah. So we can divide because if either one of them was zero, the sequence would just always be zero. Oh yeah. Okay. So I can just divide those out, and I get a squared equals a plus one, which is it's kind of strange. Uh, quite a surprise that it's simplified by that much. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, so this simplifies to be a squared minus a minus 1 equals 0. Well, then we can do the quadratic formula on it. Have you ever seen the quadratic formula? No. Okay. Well, that's all right. So the quadratic formula is, a, is for purposes of this example, it just helps us solve equations like this. Yeah. yeah you don't need to worry too much about it right now. And what does the what are the solutions by the quadratic formula? So it says it's um, one plus or minus the square root of one square root of five. So it's oh. yeah square root of five over two. So the quadratic formula says you take negative this coefficient plus or minus the square root of this coefficient squared. So this is one. Negative 1 squared is 1. Minus 4, 4 times this times this. So minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. So that's where the 5 came from. And divided by 2 times the number there. So I get a equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now to find out which 1 is our a. Uh, well, it's interesting um, how that's going to play out. But do you recognize this number? 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2? 
Make it the one plus root five over two is the golden ratio. Huh. Well, the golden ratio came up out of this in the Fibonacci number. Are you surprised by that? Not really, actually. Oh, you're not surprised? How come? I mean, it seems like something would important would come up during this because it's like a, such an important sequence of numbers. Yeah. Good point. Okay, so now, now we're gonna now we're gonna solve and find a formula for the Fibonacci. Okay. 